how y'all doing? Chris Ignato here, and thanks for stopping by. Now, this video is a precursor to a video I'll be uploading this weekend about Scudagera coleoptrata, and that's the house centipede. This is a tiny little one I rescued one night, as you can tell by the footage. I'm in my pajamas and stuff. It's just a short little video. I'll be uploading a proper one this weekend about that species. So in the meantime, check this out, and uh, hope to see you in a few days. See you later. Look at this poor little scuttles I found drowning. So I'm scared of these guys. I mean, this one's tiny. But that doesn't mean that they deserve to drown. So I'm warming them up with my hand. And I'm breathing warm air on them. And I dried them out. I rolled them on, I mean, I, you know, blotted them with a paper towel. Set them on my fuzzy pants for a while and now he's he's drying out and warming up in my hand so hopefully this guy will uh, be good when I find a bigger one I'll have to make a video on these guys too they feed on uh, crickets and spiders and other things like that they love spiders no one likes to drown yeah, he's doing so much better now the poor little guy I right, want to find a bigger one I'll make a video on it these guys have a venomous bites like a bee sting when they're bigger those claws at the front, the giant jaws, aren't. It's actually a modified front pair of legs, just like in a centipede. So, cool stuff. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'll let you go, little guy. Glad you're doing better. <laughs> 